Good morning, my tens of viewers. I'm Daniel Ramos, and I'm here to bring you food and fitness. More importantly, I'm here to bring fitness to everybody, not just people who can afford it. So with that being said, let's hop in to the video. Well, hello there. It's Daniel from another time, and I'm interrupting your program to tell you that it's a time of giving. So I want you guys to give me plenty of likes, subscribers, and comments. And in return, I'll give you a Christmas present under that tree. That's how it works, right? Well, anyways, I'm here to tell you that if this video gets 20 likes, I know that's really hard for me because I think my biggest video like was like three likes. But if you could like tell your dog to like the video, maybe your pet squirrel and maybe your aunt in uh texas i don't know then we're maybe halfway there so if you could do that get it to 20 likes we'll do this giveaway also in order to be entered into the giveaway i want you to subscribe to my channel squish that like button and then comment dan's the real santa if you can do that for me you're entered in to win and i will let you guys know the winner the next video back to you daniel from a different time all right now that we got that all out of the way let's talk about the real subject of the video so everyone in the fitness industry wants to get rich so they make like their own coaching and their own ebooks and then they sell it to you well like i said in the beginning of the video i want to give fitness for free to you guys. So I created an ebook for beginners. Now, if you're not a beginner, which means if you've been training for more than a year in the gym, click out of the video because you know, this doesn't pertain to you, but beginners less than a year, watch this video. You'll get a lot of information out of it. So I'm going to create a, a, a series. It's going to basically be an ebook for beginners and it's going to lay out all the exercises and all of the days that you're working out and how to do the exercises. So I'm basically doing an ebook for you, giving it to you for free, and I'm reading it for you. So you don't even have to read it. So in order for more people to see this and to get fitness in their lives for free and to start out fitness interact with my video so that YouTube will show it to more people. So that means like it, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So if you could do that, get more people to watch this video and the series so that we can get fitness to everybody. All right, so I'm gonna split this video up into three parts. There's gonna be what your workout week is going to look like what it's split up into then the sets the reps and the rest time and then how to do the exercises so for every video i release that's how it's going to look okay so first you're going to be splitting your workout routine into four workout days of the week so you got an upper body day lower body day then another upper body day and then another lower body day. It does not matter when you rest. So you could do upper body, lower body, rest, upper body, lower body, rest, rest, or you could do any sort of rest day. You could do upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, and then rest three days. It does not matter as long as you feel good doing the next workout and not too sore. So now onto the second part. So now for the rest times, the sets, and the reps. So for example, the first exercise you're gonna do today for your up, upper body workout is going to be bench press. So first, up the weight. Then if you can't up the weight, up the reps. And if you can't up the reps, up the sets. Now what I mean by that is First, you're starting out with 100 pounds and you're like, okay, that was pretty easy. I could probably add five more pounds the next week. So the next week you add five more pounds and you do three sets of 10 again. 
and you're like, okay, that felt a little harder, but I think I could get one more rep per set. So then the next week, you're gonna do three sets of 11. And until you hit three sets of 12, then back down the reps to 10, then up the set to four. And then once you get back to 12 reps on that set number, then you're going to go all the way back to down to three sets of 10, and then you're gonna up the weight again to like 110 pounds. So that's what it means by three to four sets of 10 to 12. Now for every other exercise, it's not gonna do the, the 10 to 12, it's just gonna be a set number of reps and sets. That's okay, just try and hit that, and then just try and get stronger because these are more of like accessory movements so you don't really need to concentrate too much on them. Just worry about upping the weight every so often in these exercises. As for the rest time, you want the rest time to be enough time to where you know you feel good to do another set again. So don't like, you know, sit on your watch and go, "Oh, it's been 2 minutes. Now I got to do it again." Don't don't be so rigid. It does not matter too much about the rest times. Just don't rest too little don't rest too long. So too little would probably be like 30 seconds, too long would probably be like five minutes, somewhere in that range. So maybe like a good, you know, two minutes is good. And just keep doing that. Keep resting two minutes. And like I said, it doesn't need to be a perfect two minutes, like a minute, 30 seconds or two and a half minutes. It does not matter. Just don't do too, too little or too long of rest. Before I continue on with this video, I'm gonna link another video of beginner mistakes in the gym. I would watch that first, and then you can continue watching this video. All right, so now that you've watched the video, time to move on to how to do the exercises. So, first exercise is bench press. I think the number one thing in bench press is your shoulder position. You see a lot of people when they're benching, they're like this with their shoulders. Do not do that. Almost every upper body exercise, unless I say otherwise, is going to be your shoulders are going to be down and back, always. Whenever you're doing the exercise, no matter if you're up at the rep, your shoulders don't do this, they're going to be down and back always. That's number one. Number two, slight arch in your back. Just a slight arch, not too much to where your butt comes off the bench, just a little bit. Third thing you want is wrists straight. You don't want your wrists like this when you take the bar off. You want your wrists straight so that you keep healthy wrists and joints. Fourth thing, you want your feet planted on the ground and you wanna drive power through your feet <clears throat> so press on the floor as you're pressing up with the weight. You do not want to have your feet, you know, high up in the air, you know, like you're doing abs. You can do abs another time. You're here to do bench press. You're here to work on your chest. Put your feet on the ground and drive power through your feet and you'll feel that you're able to lift more weight. But don't drive too much power that your butt comes off the bench. All right, and when you do every exercise, every exercise, I want you guys to do two seconds down every exercise. Two seconds down, pause, one second up. Two seconds down, one second up. And always do that. That will stop injury so that you're able to come back to the gym instead of doing one exercise, you know, a year because you're always injured. So keep the injury to a minimum so you can keep working out and getting bigger. Second exercise is going to be close grip pull-ups. So first off, if you cannot do pull-ups, there's usually assisted machines in the gym. If you can't find an assisted machine, then just do close grip pull-downs. So on this exercise, same thing as bench press. You, you let yourself hang and then 
as you're pulling up, you want to pull your shoulders down and back and then your arms. All right. And also, same thing as bench, you want to keep your wrists straight. When you're pulling, a lot of people like to do this because they want to get up and stuff. Don't do that. Wrists like this, pull down, and it's really, it's really that simple. There's, there's not much to it. Third exercise is going to be a single arm dumbbell shoulder press. First thing you want is shoulders down and back, obviously, like I just said. Then your elbows should not pass behind you ever. No passing behind like this. They should always be in front or to the side. And you're just gonna press up, wrist straight, and press up. Very simple, nothing to it. Squeeze your glutes so that when you're upright, your, your lower back is not taking all the force of the weight. Your glutes will be. So squeeze your glutes. No, no momentum with your legs, no leg drive, just your arms doing the work. Very easy. Now, this next exercise is actually gonna be a superset. It's where you do one exercise followed by another exercise, no rest in between. So you're going to get on the, a dip station and you're gonna do dips as many reps as possible. You're gonna do that three times. So with dips, again, shoulders down and back, and you're going to just press up, wrists straight, again, press up, and you want to lean as little forward as possible because that will be more chest. You wanna lean more upright, and you're doing triceps, okay? Slow, controlled, no, no jerking, none of that. If you can only get three, get three. If you feel like that's too little, use assistance. They do have assistance. If not, there is a dip, usually a dip machine that you can use as well. It's the same thing. Then right after that, you're gonna have dumbbells and you're gonna do biceps, bicep curls. Shoulders really don't need to be down and back for this, but you want your upper arm to be stationary when you do a curl. You do not want it to be swinging. You want it to be stationary up and down. This, this is the only part of your arm that's moving. Up, down, up, down. It's a, it's a bicep curl. You, you can't really mess it up unless you're using way too much momentum. Very easy. The last exercise you're gonna be doing is for abs. You're gonna just do a normal crunch. When, when you do a crunch, it's not necks, it's not your neck doing the work, and it's not your hips doing the work where you're going like this. It's a crunch where you go up like that. You're just crunching your upper torso to your legs. You're not crunching your whole torso to your legs, just your upper torso. That's it. Very, very simple. Okay, so that's it for all the exercises and how to do them. All right, so that's it for the exercises. If you guys have any more questions on how to do them or anything else, leave a comment, let me know, and I will respond, I promise. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel because there will be more content like this coming very soon. I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're kind of tired of, uh, you know, looking at workout videos all the time and like people telling you which workouts you should and shouldn't do, well, I got a video of me eating for a full day and what I eat to stay lean. And I also got a video on uh, if you should take steroids or not. Check both of them out. And I will see you all.